Riley was getting all excited and jumping up and down too, is uh, mm. with Mortal Kombat, man. So yeah, James Wan is uh, he's, he's producing with me. He's or, producing, or, or okay. maybe I should say, I'm producing with him. You're producing, yeah. So how did <laughs> so how did that whole thing come? Had you had you met uh, worked with James before? No. Or? So okay. what happened was I. Um, uh, it's funny. I, I literally tomorrow I'm talking to tell this story, so I'll tell it now. Yeah. You, you don't have to listen to it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was obsessed with the game. Deluca got to make the movie in '95, yep. um, and you know, then the game kept evolving and getting like increasingly cooler. Right. And I was r- really going. There's got to be a way to to do this, you know, for a modern audience. So I just started hounding Richard Brenner. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like. It, what's happening with Mortal Kombat? And he'd say, "Oh, we're you know developing a script." And then Kevin Tancheron did some shorts and did a series that kind of pulled the lid off of what everybody thought Mortal Kombat was and yeah. made it a darker vision of it. And then the game kind of took that turn. And so I just kept hounding him and kept hounding him. And finally, we had made Into the Storm together. We had a really good experience making that movie. And so he said, "Well, come in, and just talk, read the script, and talk about it." And we, you know, he and I and Dave Neustadter and, and Walter Mata sat down. I really went through it and said, well, what if it was this? And what if it was that? And we just sort of got into it. And he said, well, go ahead. Why don't you take a run at it? So we we started, uh, we were about to start down a path. And um, they had, you know, the con- the Conjuring universe mm-hmm. was really taking off. And James, it was a huge fan and said, you know, and Walt Hamada goes, would you meet? <laughs> this is the best. He goes, would you meet with James to see if you'd let him in? I'm like, fuck, are you fucking joking? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and first of all, he's in. Yeah. <laughs> this right. is gonna be Done. this is gonna be the easiest right. date of all. It's like Pretty Woman. Like I'm a sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's gonna be fine. Right. And uh, you know he's awesome. Yeah. And then you know his career is just blown up. Taking so on. and probably New Line's going. Fuck. We've just waited two weeks so he could didn't have to have guard. But I'm really happy to be <laughs> so there. What is the overall Tony thing going to be on, on this version of it? Like so, it's very R rated. Yeah. I mean, it's much more like the game. Yeah. Where you can't ignore that there's a Mortal Kombat 11, and uh, we're not. To be clear, we're not remaking the 1995 movie, and we're not doing the storyline that's in Mortal Kombat 11 because there's been a whole universe. Mm-hmm. It's like comic books. Right. So we're going back and looking at some of the older uh, storylines and some of the the mythology, mm-hmm. being very, 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 very um, aware of each character's origin, their nationality, being very sensitive to that. Being authentic to so that, Christopher Lambert will not be returning. No, 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 no. <laughs> and you know what? It's a testament to New Line because they're they're saying no, make it authentic. Like make sure the characters are authentic. That being said, you know we're not just going to have it be you know Johnny Cage and all, all this stuff. Yeah. We 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 want a different access in because it has to live on its own. Yeah. And by the time this movie comes out, the game will have another iteration. Oh, so shit. you know and. And so there's, you know, there's new characters and things like that that we're going to introduce. So we were trying to take all of it into consideration. There's such a wealth of of mythology and characters that we want to be able to do what the MCU is in for Mortal Kombat. Well, that's what I was going to say. So, like, so obviously, anytime you're working with with a studio or in general, you always want to have the on IP that can go uh, trilogies, mm-hmm. four or five movies. But sometimes people just well, let's work on this one and it's successful. Then we know we want to do two and three. And we'll write them later. But do you? A lot of times, some some producers, some writers, they will have the script and go. Well, we know we want to get to this point yeah. by the third movie. Is that kind of where we're? I mean, working? look, <laughs> I'm. You know, if you're been doing this long enough, you have to be insanely optimistic. Yeah. Like there's with no rational yeah, right. thought to it. And so every movie I go into, I think you know maybe this could be something deep and longer and you know you got to make a good movie and focus on that it has to work in its own way and then you can think about it like i you know i didn't have um the you know the intelligence or the foresight that you know kevin has defeat where he just goes oh i've already got all the 20 movies mapped out you know right. that would be that would be insane for us to start thinking that way. Did you, have you talked to any of the game developers? Any of the people oh, yeah. That, have, have, have oh, sure. Let me your question. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure, because if it's going to come out before this movie is, I think people yeah. are probably going to assume you guys are in communication. We are, but we're not, like, if you look at Mortal Kombat 11, it is, there's already all kids have grown. Like, you know, Jax's uh, daughter is in it, and, mm. you know, the, um, <clears throat> the Sonya Blade and, and Johnny Cage have had a daughter who's now 25 years old. So we're not, like, you, that's, like, Years and years and years and years in the future in terms of the movie universe the movie universe We're trying to go back do some origin stories, you know kind of explain Kind of where where it all began mm-hmm. in a way that 
in a way that is makes sense for if you've never played the game. Right. So we have Sub Zero cast. Mm-hmm. Is that, is, and is that that's the only cast for now? Yeah. For now. Yeah. We it, we're again. New Line is being very diligent and thoughtful about it. You know, we want to make sure we see everybody. Right. You know, we're not relying on stars. There's no, you know, it's not going to all of a sudden be like, you know, Margot Robbie is Sonya Blade. Right, right, right. So we want it to be, you know, its own thing. Is I mean, Margot Robbie <laughs> going to be Sonya Blade? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We have a, do we have a director already uh, attached? Yeah, Simon McCoy. Okay. He's an Australian gentleman who comes from um, commercials. Really great guy, an adult, thoughtful, really, you know, Really loves this mythology. Yeah. Has a great eye. He the probably the thing you would know him most for is when he did. Um, I think it was two years ago. He did the Super Bowl spot with. It started off as a Star Wars, and then you realize it's a children's hospital. So you oh, see these kids yeah, running yeah, through yeah, the Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. So great. And so that's just who he is. He's just a he's just a really thoughtful, great, cool, dude, cool, great, cool. great guy. And the thing about that that game when it first came out is you just. Pretty much had your one move. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mine was the, the the you know you pull the joysticks to both sides and the leg sweep. Yes. And you just go wham 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 yeah. wham. Other people said you and know so doing it. yeah you just keep doing yeah. it over and over. So we actually have a little moment of that That's in our, awesome. in That's our cool. movie. Yeah. But you know you're trying to not just do you know what you want it to be for everybody. So if somebody doing that move, you know the all of the tip to you know the great you know fight yeah. finish him right. Flawless victory, all that stuff. You have to put it in that isn't just a guy just standing like a referee saying it. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 um, right. The previous right. movie you referred to as campy. This one, what is the the adjective you're going for? It's it's grounded and it's mm. much more like the game. The get in terms of the game, not in the, in the '90s, but how the games evolve, which is it's grounded. Yeah. Um, it's not so much a tournament anymore. It's really about characters um, in conflict. There's a whole mythology to why, you know, Earth Realm and Outworld have been have been battling, and there's you know, so we're we're very conscious of of that movie, yeah. and making sure that we don't just have a proscenium where two guys walk in and just beat the shit out of each other. The other thing is that because the video game movie has. Uh, I mean, Cody will argue and say Pikachu is probably the the most successful one. But yeah, Mortal, it is. Mortal Kombat, the '95 <laughs> version, is the one that uh, that people would say is Sets probably the still yeah. the best. What well, broke the curse? Yeah, well, and which is ridiculous because the biggest curse of all was pirate movies, and so mm-hmm. you know Jerry destroyed that curse. Right. You just make a good movie; it doesn't mm-hmm. matter what. The, I think the problem with video game movies is in quotes is that people then they they feel anemic. Yeah. You know, they just feel like, oh, you know, it's like just run around and, and, and shoot people. Or if it's a first person shooter game, that's a problem. And so I think if you can, if you have, if you look at it, and the, the Mortal Kombat really is just a bunch of characters that all have backstories that intertwine, yeah. which is like a comic book. Right. That's the main thing is that I think a lot of times with the video game movies, what, the reason why they don't work is because the writers and the producers and everyone goes so far off of the essence of what it mm-hmm. was. Like you look at Assassin's Creed and it's like, oh mm-hmm. my God. It's just, it's, it's, well, just, that was a video, literally a video game movie. Right. Right. playing a video game. Right. Right. Yeah, but, right. it, but, but the, Ready Player One, I thought, was really pretty, pretty, you know, true to what that. It was supposed to have the book, but I mean, yeah, but as far as an actual, the video game, it's the video game. Um, that you know have been adapted like oh, Max okay. Payne yeah. and things of that yeah, yeah. nature. Oh, like it just, it just even it Warcraft. Just, yeah, but none of them. They, they, yeah. None of them transfer over. So, yeah. like, and from what you're saying is, what you guys want to do is go more towards the essence of what made the game yeah. special. And the I characters. Think, yeah. So it's, it's just I was I was fascinated by when you uh, tackle the video game movie, which mm-hmm. has not. It's because comic book movies for a long time were kind of taking a, mm-hmm. a a road down with Batman and Robin and all that shit. So it's got to be a little. Maybe it's mm-hmm. not daunting. I don't know. It's daunting. Yeah. I mean, it's daunting when you're doing any movie, you know? The movie I just finished with John Cena took me 14 years to get made. So they're all daunting.